Zach is about to go off to college. Zach, did your parents uh, bribe bribe anybody? <laughs> no. Well, you're not getting in. <laughs> <laughs> but th- there's kind of ways around it. Like, you can write a check for a donation to the school, <clears throat> and it doesn't necessarily mean your kid will get in, but it's just like a wink, wink donation. Did they do that? No. No, no, no. Plenty of people I, do, I, though. Yeah, He's I right. know some people that have done that. I thought you were going to be like, there's other ways to get around it, like studying. <laughs> yeah, you work your ass off, but I got I got shitty SAT scores. But what's uh, your SAT score? Do you mind? I know if it's very private because people. No, no, it's, it's this was like two years ago. I'll tell so. you what I got on my SAT. What'd you get? Oh, you did. Well, SAT? let's start with Zach. Wait, SAT. It's different is... in Israel. Mm. SAT is like you take it. Uh, it's a score to assess like kind of how good you. You're, how, how well educated you are, simply. Yeah, so we do have something like that in Israel, but why did you need to do it? For college. For college? Yeah. Colleges use it as it's sort of a super important. Yeah. I guess because I studied art, I didn't need to. Hey. You have to right do it for every you. college. <clears throat> yeah. There's another one, too. What's the other one? That, the uh, ACT. 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 Yeah. Uh, does everyone comfortable sharing their scores? I didn't <laughs> take the SAT. Fuck that. <laughs> really? <clears throat> it's awful, by the way. It's so brutal. It fucking sucks. <clears throat> I took the like practice one when I still had delusions that I would get into college. <laughs> <laughs> and I did pretty well on that one actually. I don't remember the score, but it, it was decent. But uh but yeah, I mean my grades in high school were awful, so I I knew. I knew the that thing is happening. like the kids who get insanely good grades have like SAT prep courses and they study their yeah. ass off. Yeah, it's the so, same in Israel. You know, my score, I got like a okay, I on the SAT I got like a twelve eighty. You didn't prepare though. No, hmm. not at all. Is that before the change? Like when the max? Because it, it used to be the max was sixteen hundred. That's what it was. Sixteen hundred. It's like much. The max is much higher now. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It was sixteen hundred was a perfect score. Hmm. Right. Right. So twelve eighty was okay. If you didn't do a prep, I like to tell myself, you know, that if I prepped, I would have got a, that. I'm much smarter than than that reflects. Is basically the story. And Zach, anyone else want to compare? You did way better than I did. For real, what'd you get? Well, I took it the first time, and I got a, a 1030. Mm. And then I did, like, this tutoring study program, mm. and I I got a 1020. It went what? down? <laughs> I want my money this, back. This is why, but I, I, I'm, I do very well in school right now, and that's why I went to a community college and hopefully transferring. You're a great student. I think, I, I think uh, IQ tests and SAT, it's all bullshit. I, IQ tests is such bullshit. It, it is beyond bullshit. I'll never take an IQ test. because SAT just, test is know. only English and math, done. right? Yes. They don't actually it, test any other, like, science or uh, history or anything? No, it's all, yeah. It's yeah. like logic, right? Well, like, okay. Uh, the SAT is, that's right. It's written, so you do, like, log, like uh, reading comprehension tests, and then you have to write an essay, too. Mm. And then they also test you on math, but it's all it's like algebra up to calculus, so it gets really challenging if you don't know mm-hmm. the math. Yeah. So yeah, it's reading, writing, and math. So um, and then and then the other one, the what's the name of the other one? ACT. The ACT tests you with like history and shit. Mm-hmm. Right? Science. Science and history. I actually did better on that one. I'm the opposite. I'm I'm really bad with history. But I'm good with math and that kind of stuff. Your number's genius, dude. You remember everything. I don't remember anything now, though. Yeah, what happened? When I met Elish, you remembered everything. And I still, like, think that you remember everything. I'm like, Ela, what's the number? No, what's the I number do. Again? I do remember stuff, but, I mean, I don't remember anything from, like, algebra anymore from school. Algebra? Well, algebra is just, like... Not a, I mean, like, the, the, the complicated... P- Pythagorean theorem. Whatever. Quadratic that formula. Stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh my God, college is so annoying, dude. Ugh. It's uh, the prep work is the most annoying part. I'm so glad that I'm not. I still have nightmares that I wake up and I'm in college and like I have like to write an essay. It was the worst. It's the worst. I hate school, <laughs> and I did five years at Santa Cruz. Why did I do that? I can't say that I have this kind of nightmares anymore. I still do. <laughs> but don't you agree that school is like the worst? It's the best part um, about being an adult is that you don't have to go to 
fucking school. One of the only good things about being a doctor. I'm really. kind of yeah, the opposite. True. I don't. Although work sucks ass even more at like a normal job. I kind of liked college. Yeah, but your your college was so bohemian. All you yeah. did was like paint and do sculptures and shit. Exactly. So I don't have your experience. But I uh, we did have some like uh, more theoretical classes, but they were interesting. My experience was not. <laughs> but I I was like freaking. <laughs> I was like. But you guys do it at a different age, too, and I think that makes a difference. You, that's a very good point. Like in Israel, you go to the army first, you get all the partying out of your system, <laughs> like the mm. teenager mm. craziness. And I went to college when I was like, I don't know, 22. Mm-hmm. Kind of already more mature. That's a, that's a really good point. My and maturity levels from 18 to 22 were a huge difference. Big difference. Yeah. And then at that point, also, you you really go because you want to do this mm. and not because you have to, mm. kind of. Mm. So I think it's a different state of mind. The thing is, I was, like, borderline suicidal <laughs> in college because of my anxiety. So yeah, that made it way worse, but yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sh- How about that shack, huh? What, Dan? <laughs> Do you guys apply what you learned in college to your career today? Fuck no, dude. <laughs> the college was important, Liter- I think. Literally zero. Well, college was is a great place to mature, to learn to interact with people, to manage your life, and stuff like that. But it's also really not, because actually just being cast into the real world and being forced to get a job and pay your own rent and pay your own utility bills is a way... Better mm-hmm. learn probably like, you know, yeah, college is just coddling kids to they're like delaying real life, but um, it did I, give me opportunities I did not have though. I think I was forced into um, a video art class that I was never gonna take, and that kind of led us into making videos and into YouTube. And oh, well, there you go, started That's... the whole avenue that we would have never taken. Probably. I can confidently say. That if you did not be forced to take that video art class, almost certainly we would not be mm-hmm. entertainers. I I never shot a video before that class. Yeah. Never. Um, there you go. Go to college, kids. I don't know that I can recommend college, though. Because yeah, it, it's, I'm just, it's become such a trap. It really has become such a trap. I think if you are super, if you know exactly what you want to do, if you're like, I definitely want to be a doctor. I definitely want to be a physicist. I definitely want to do whatever it is and college is the next logical path, then it makes a lot of sense and you should definitely go do it. But if you're like, um, I don't really know what I want to do, but I know that I'm probably supposed to go to college and I'll figure it out there. That's when I think you should take a second thought and think about if there's other opportunities or other, because in a lot of cases, if you just go get a fucking job doing anything, Save up some money, think about your life, mature a little bit. Because when you go to college, unless your parents pay for it, you're going to come out with a lot of fucking debt and a degree that's not going to help you most likely get a job. Especially if you do arts like I did, if you do creative shit like I did. I mean, my Mm -hmm. God, I studied creative writing for Christ's sake for five years. If I just got a job and then saved up money and then did writing as a passion in my free time, I would have been, I mean, technically you'd be way better off, but it's a lot about networking and meeting people. It's so hard to know. I'm definitely conflicted on yeah, I'm what conflicted. I would recommend someone because you do, <sighs> you do learn stuff about, even if you have to write an essay about something you'll never have to know again, just having to write an essay is something that develops you. Absolutely, you know? yeah. Uh, but I can say pretty much everyone I studied with in my class in art, they are, I still see them like on Facebook looking for a job mm-hmm. or just That's the reality trying for to everybody. get by. That's just, it, yeah. nothing really came of it. It's really hard. I mean, we were super lucky that basically from my, my, uh, from my degree, I was able to get a job in Israel. In America, nobody gives a shit. But in Israel, actually, was some credibility. Mm-hmm. <coughs> um, but same with me. A lot of my friends that went to college, it's like, you know, they're waiting tables. And it's not their fault. They're smart, hardworking, mm-hmm. 
dedicated, yeah. mature people. But the problem is that a college degree does not get you what it used to. And a lot of our parents pushed us into going to college because that's the next logical step. Because when they were kids, you would go to college and you would come out and you would get a $50,000 per year job right out of college. But sadly, that's not the case anymore. And student debt is now become the biggest pool of debt in the country. And student debt, unlike other debts, is not forgivable through bankruptcy. So nope. you are, you are going to be haunted by this debt. That is forever. Yeah, potentially, I still can't really understand that whole part because what I'm used to is so different. It's, it's really affordable in Israel. It's like twenty five hundred dollars for a year. Who Jesus? Yeah. So. If you just have a part-time job or something, you can pay it by yourself. That's what I did. <clears throat> the problem with a lot of schools, like, and so I went to UC Santa Cruz. So it cost $20,000 for, or maybe it was like fifteen for tuition alone per year. But then, let's say you're like, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to pay for it myself. First of all, if you want to get straight A's, that's... There's no fucking way to hold a full-time job and to do all the work required to get straight A's. I was a shitty student, so I could hold down a part-time job, but here's the other problem. There were so many people looking for work in Santa Cruz because there was yeah. this huge university there. I remember me and Elo once went to a yogurt shop to get an application, and the girl's like, I can give you an application, but, but they, honestly, they there's really stack. no point because I have a stack of about 50 people that already gave me an application to work here. Just for a yogurt shop. Making, like, you know, minimum wage. Like it's six bucks an hour. So the uh, the possibility of actually working off a meaningful debt while in school is laughably ridiculous. It's it's utterly ridiculous the notion that you can work off your student debt while in school. It's just so mm -hmm. it's a fantasy. It's a pure fantasy. Imagine working at a yogurt shop making six dollars an hour and trying to pay off So and then because you can't pay to afford yourself you have to take a loan out for your, your cost of living You have to take a loan out for your rent for your food for everything. So you're gonna end up spending thirty thousand dollars plus per year um, Because you have to pay for your school your food your living expenses because you there's no freaking way And then whenever these colleges are because they're so big it inflates the real estate and inflates all the prices. So a place like Santa Cruz, before the UC there, you probably get a nice apartment for like $500 a month. Me and Ela were paying, this was 10 plus years ago now, we were paying uh, like 1500 bucks to share a house. And we Not shared a room. 1500 maybe 900 but for a room. Oh, I thought we were paying over 1000 mm -mm. That's after somebody came and slept on our couch to reduce our rent, isn't it? Maybe. I think we were paying like I, we were paying over a thousand. We were sharing a room, and then we had some dudes sleeping on our couch to help offset the cost. You know, because there's so many people, so it's it's really a vicious cycle. It's just so brutal, man. It's so brutal, and these motherfucking loan cocksuckers that are backed by the government. I had a government backed loan at eleven percent. The government gave me a loan for my education at 11%. <laughs> That's like illegal with like a... Uh, dude, that is so high. 11%. And then my low ones were 6%. Do you know how much interest I get? On my, on my savings account? 0 0.02. So who's making money? I'm not making money from the end. Like, what is going on? Why am I not making interest in my savings account? And then these loan people are pay charging me 11%. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? For student loans. It's higher for student loans than any other loans. Excluding, oh, like, predatory, insane. like, payday loans. I really hope that changes oh. here someday. Dude, it, it, I think this country is is approaching a colossal uh, crisis of a bunch of young people with a trillion, over a trillion dollars of student debt that they cannot get rid of with super high interest rates that they are just going to be absolutely um, crushed. I mean, there's a whole generation of kids that are going to be cr fucking crushed Just looking it up, debt. it's uh, one, $1. 1.5 trillion 
plus now is the the total student debt in the wow. United States. Past credit card, past mortgage, past car loans. Right, Dan? You see that? Do you, you corroborate that? As as far as uh, amount of compared debt compared to how much total debt? Uh, yeah. yeah. Let me let me see if I can find a chart. I got lots of charts here. So I I mean I got I got uh, fantastically lucky to be able to be able to support myself. I had student debt that I was fantastically fortunate to be able to pay off when we were in Israel. We were working. We immediately the first year in Israel, we were both like, let's just get rid of this debt because. I pr- I hate knowing that I have any debt. I had about I mean, twenty yours, but I... well, let me just tell you about Ela. I had twenty two thousand dollars of student debt, and yeah. we weren't married at the time. Um, we weren't even thinking about marriage at the time. Mm-hmm. We were committed to each other, though. But Ela, we were both working, and Ela was fucking pulling in her money to pay off my student debt. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real one. But then we paid it off. Yeah, Fuck that it. was that was amazing. I pay mine off in uh, I think three months. I'm almost there. Oh, you're almost done with mm. yours, Dan? Yes, we sir. Should, we should. Uh, nice. How much debt did you have? It, it honestly very low compared to what a lot of people have. I think when uh, when it's the initial amount was um, like twenty five k. Which, yeah, I mean that's which, what I had. That's a is, lot. I mean, yeah, it's people it's have a healthy way more amount. though. Yeah, people, people have way more. Yeah. You know? What was your interest rate? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was around the same. I think that that's. It, Does that blow your fucking yeah, I mean, mind? Well, and they and they take advantage of the fact that uh, kids don't understand anything about exactly. finance because we don't teach it in high so school. Insane. So you know, to <laughs> me, it was like I, I didn't know that that was high. exactly. You know, I don't know. I didn't even look at this shit. I was like, yeah. I need the money, yep, so exactly. what choice do I have? Boom, boom, boom. And then years later, I'm like, 11%? What? That is just <laughs> yeah, it's totally, so awful. It's totally nuts. So I feel my heart really goes out to our generation and the generation below us that are like... Seriously. Because I'm thinking, like, at this point... Uh, at, at least at our age, like reaching the thirties, mm-hmm. you want to start thinking about buying a house and like. Oh, give me a break! <laughs> For most people, that's well. Before we started having the absolute fortune of making a really good living, mm-hmm. doing what we're doing now, the thought of buying a house was like, I, I might as well just win the lottery. I yeah, mean, it was like what? Buy a house? I've got a thousand dollars in my bank account. Yeah, <laughs> buy a house? I live in L.A. <laughs> You're you know? like you're trying to think like wait so how much is the down payment because I have like ten thousand dollars. You're like if I save or like okay, no th- this is what you do when you want to buy a house. You're like okay, so if I keep saving at my current thing and if I get a raise and everything's going great, if I just keep saving for another thirty years, <laughs> I'll be able to put a down payment and then I'll have the mortgage. So by the time I'm eighty five, I should be able to pay off my mortgage. Yeah. I can't wait for someone to make a real change here, specifically here in America. <coughs> like, n- healthcare is insanely expensive, and college. Yeah, they get you on all sides. <laughs> the college one is is super predatory because I mean education. Well, and also I really do think that these universities and schools need to be their their pricing needs to be looked at because the way they price the education like if you look at the trend of prices from like the 80s like my dad went to ucla and he paid like he paid like a couple hundred bucks for a class yeah same with my dad he went to uh uc san diego and i think he got like a free ride yeah my dad he went to he got a graduates or not a great he got a bachelor's degree from ucla and he worked paid his whole way through it Mm mm-hmm Came out without debt, had a degree. I mean, it's it's that's just not. Why is that not possible anymore? Things didn't change. I mean, shit. Uh, America, the economy, st- stronger than it's ever been. We have more money and wealth in this country than we ever did before. So, what's why has that? Why is that still not possible? I don't get it. I don't understand. But if you look at the trend of the prices from colleges, it's gone up like uh, ten thousand percent. What's changed? 
Administrators get paid a fucking shit ton more. That's for sure. I don't know. So, I don't know. Co- I don't know that college is the right choice because, unfortunately, it's just a racket at this point. It's hard because it's such a great thing. It is such a great experience, but it's it's come to the point where you have to really weigh the pros and cons. I wish there was less cons, but you really have to weigh them because there's way too many cons now. And that's just the sad yeah. reality. It's a really... It's just rich kids at college now. Kind of. Like, I knew a girl from my high school who went to the same college as me. She was an amazing student. She worked her ass off. She got a, even a scholarship. She was came from a poor family. And she was f- working full-time to pay for college at the same time because she was broke. Mm-hmm. And she w- dropped out because it was too stressful for her. I remember I used to see her occasionally and say, Hi, how are you? And she was like, she was just like out of her mind. And eventually she just dropped out because she was like, mm. I can't. I just can't do all this. I think she just had a breakdown. <laughs> but I, in my college days, of all the hundreds of people I knew, I didn't know anyone that worked full time. I barely, most of the people didn't even work at all. Probably like 90% didn't even have a job. <laughs> so the parents are just paying for it? Or loans. Mm. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Do you have your good grades? Do you have your SATs? No. Girl, would you like to get a loan from FAFSA? <laughs> Hit me, start it over. Girl, do you, do you have your SATs? Do you have your good grades? Girl, would you like to get a loan from FAFSA? FAFSA. FAFSA. 11%. Ooh, you'll be paying me back for life. Girl, do you like getting your income deducted by 50? Okay, you can end it. It's not going well. You get the idea.